Nicholas, welcome back to Viva Barca and welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on some interesting updates. We start with this report claiming that Barcelona's chances of signing Portuguese superstars João Felix and Bernardo Silva depend on three departures. We are going to be discussing on that in much detail as we move ahead. Secondly, talking about this report claiming that Xavi sees this 17-year-old Barca Academy ace as the natural substitute for Sergio Busquets. Who is that? We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please do ensure to subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona have begun work on the departure front. Why Pablo Torre recently completed his move to Girona? Nico Gonzalez and Julian Araujo appeared close to securing their tickets away from Catalonia. However, that does not take away the light from the elephant in the room. Barcelona's financial situation is in shambles and a couple of petty sales will not make a tangible difference on the financial fair play book and the economic front as well. Joan Laporta, the Barca president, has already signed three match winners for next season, Ilkay Gondogan, Inigo Martinez and Oriol Romeo. The signing of Vitor Roque will provide the manager with a young attacking phenom come next summer. At this point, it is clear that no more arrivals can be made possible unless a big departure is being finalized. According to reports from Mundo Deportivo, Barcelona's pursuit of a new big signing lies in the hands of three stars in the form of Frank Kessier, Ferran Torres and Rafinha, are the three sellable assets in the squad capable of generating a large transfer fee as seen by the management. Juan Laporta and Xavi Hernandez fancy the idea of bringing either Bernardo Silva or João Felix this summer. The president likes the Atletico Madrid star for his profile and high quality, while the manager sees Silva as the optimal addition to his working dynamics. However, neither star will come cheap. La Liga have confirmed that Barcelona are in no position to afford a new blockbuster signing and the administration must place the idea on hold until some of the aforementioned stars are sold. Rafinha is the most in-demand star among the trio. The winger attacking, um, attracting a lot of interest from clubs in the Premier League, such as Manchester City and Chelsea, as well as Saudi Arabian teams. However, he is seen as a key member of the team by Xavi, and the player is reluctant to leave as well. As for Ferran Torres, the 23-year-old is a player that is on an Atletico Madrid radar and could be used in the deal for Felix. But with Rafinha, the Spaniard is also unwilling to leave, making things difficult for Barca. The same holds true for Frank Isier, who wants to succeed at the club despite strong interest from Juventus, unless any of these departures are completed. Barcelona would find it impossible to sign either Silva or João Felix this summer. Of course, those are two quality players that any top team would like to have in your ranks. And here we are, having the opportunities on our face to sign them up. We can't do it for reasons that me and you understand. The financial repercussions, the financial constraints we are currently going through is really killing us. And honestly, it's, as I've always said it, it's going to take a miracle for Barca to complete any of these two signings. We know that Bernardo Silva was also strongly linked to Barca. In fact, he is still strongly linked to Barca. It's not even history. He's still linked again. The player wants to leave City, even though there's interest on PSG and also lucrative interest from Saudi Arabia. But the player prefers Barca. I mean, many players prefer Barca, but it's just unfortunate that the club is not in a position to get those deals done. The other day, Joao Felix having an interview, you know, praising Barca, and of course, telling, saying how it's a dream for him since he was a kid to play for the Blaugrana, which have really angered Atletico, who are open to the player to leave. Barca have been eyeing a possible loan move, but still yet, 
A loan move will mean that Barca will spend a total of 25 million in grand total for everything in the operation because they are saying that the entire salary of Joao Felix will be borne by Barcelona. Atletico will have no percentage to pay there, which makes it even more heavier for the Catalans. So let's see how it goes. But as it stands right now, Barca are in no financial capacity to sign any of those two players. Then on to the final story of discussion. For years, Barcelona have had the luxury of relying on one of the greatest midfielders ever in the form of Sergio Busquets. The former Spanish international was a permanent fixture in the middle of the park for the Catalans for 15 good years, but will no longer be a part of the team. Indeed, Busquets left Barca this summer upon the expiry of his contract and has signed for Inter Miami, where he is reunited with Leo Messi and Jordi Alba. The veteran midfielder's departure leaves a gaping hole in the Catalans' midfield unit. Barcelona have roped in the likes of Oreo Romeo as a replacement for the departed captain, but he would only be a short-term fix considering that the former La Masia man will turn 32 in September. As such, Xavi Hernandez is already looking at the possible long-term solutions for the Busquets role and seems to have fallen into a solution in the form of Academy A's power print. Indeed, as per sport, Xavi sees the 17-year-old La Masia product as natural long-term substitute for Busquets and has been closely monitoring his development for some time now. Paul Prim is regarded as one of the most talented young prospects coming through the ranks of the club's academy and has been earmarked as a possible candidate to replace Busquets at the base of the midfield is in the long run. The youngster has trained under Chavez commands with the Black Runner first team on several occasions and even made his official debut in the friendly encounter against Vissel Kobe last month. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.